Hey coaches, what's going on? It is Coach Beast here with another video and I have a really good one for you today. I'm gonna to be sharing three plays out of the Beast Maryland I formation you can run to absolutely dominate games. I'm really excited to share these three plays with you. Now, before we get into this video, do me a solid like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also good news, if you want the Beast Maryland I formation or any of my other six playbooks, you can just go down to my description box below to check those out. All right, so with that being said, let's get into this video. Quick history, the Maryland Eye Formation was the very first formation I ran as a football coach. And little did I, did I know that the Maryland Eye Formation was going to be so dominant for me. We averaged about 28 points per game out of this formation and we really became an unstoppable force for the simple fact of we had really good running backs and I had a good dual threat quarterback and we had uh, a really good wide receiver. He was more of a tight end type, um, but we used him at wide receiver. We used him at tight end when we needed him. And that's really all I had in terms of talent. You know, my offensive line was so small that, you know, we knew that we had to play fast if we was going to win games. And my team became so disciplined and so good at doing the small things right. We had a field day in the Maryland I formation. And I'm going to share with you my top three plays. And I'm actually going to sh share with you how to use these plays to score a quick touchdown. And you can probably actually score about 21 points using this same combination throughout the game. All right. So... The first play that I want you to put in your playbook today, all right, is I want you to run a power toss, all right? A power toss with the four, with the four halfback, and you want to run a wide zone blocking concept, okay? If you're not comfortable with running this wide zone, you can also just down block. Both are going to be effective. The wide zone, in my opinion, is going to be a little more effective because it really messes with the psychology of the defense. And it's going to cause them to try to flow to the ball aggressively. And that's what we want. This, this play, we're not trying to hit a home run with this play, right? We're trying to get into the minds of the defense with this play. We're trying to set up the defense for something bigger, all right? Then the next play, I want you to run just a simple QB pop. That's right, a simple QB power. And what I want you to do with the offensive line is to just down block. All I want you to do is down block. Now, the key to running this particular play, this is a QB power, but we got push motion, okay? What I want you to do is make sure you have your halfback go into push motion. What that's going to do is it's going to get those linebackers. It's going to get them alert, alerted, right? They're going to be like, what in the world is this guy doing, right? So I want you to have your halfback going to push motion. Again, he don't, he don't really have to go into push motion. If you got like a weak offensive line or you feel like you need an extra blocker, you can actually send him without him going into push motion. Just have him be another lead blocker in this play, okay? So let's, let's go back real quick. So we got basically your standard halfback toss with the wide zone blocking concept, all right? With this play, depending on your team, you're going to get a, a, a good chunk of yards. Let's say, just let's just say five yards, right? Then with the QB power, same thing. You may get five, 10 yards. You may get a first down, okay? If you get a first down, that's good because again, you're showing, you're showing the defense that, oh, oh crap, you know, they're gashing us. They're, they're getting first downs. This play is effective. And then what you want to do is go to the third play. And this is where you're going to get the touchdown, okay? If it's executed properly. The third play, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. The third play is going to be, we're going to fake that QB power again. We still go in wide zone. This is why we do wide zone here, okay? Now, mind you, you don't have to do wide zone. You can, you, all these plays could be down blocks. That's fine too. I've done it both ways, all right? Let's just say we got wide zone, down block, wide zone, right? What you want to do is you're going to run the wide zone. We're going to have this push motion again. The big difference though, 
is that we want this tight end to pop out. We're going to hit that tight end on the pop pass. That's what we want to do. He's going to be wide open, people, okay? He's going to be absolutely open. We're going to fake that power. We're going to hit that tight end on the pop pass. They will not see that coming whatsoever, all right? And I can't tell you how many touchdowns I've scored using my tight end or using my wide receiver. So let's say you scored, you scored a touchdown with this sequence that I just taught you, right? So let's say we want to reset and we want to do it all over again. Next time, what you can do, you can go the opposite side of the field, run it the other way. You can actually set up in the base set right here, opposed to the jumbo or, you know, the B set, I like to call it, the, the Maryland IB set, go to the base set, right? You can do the same thing. Instead of this kid blocking, you know, and, and instead of running this, this toss, you can run a quick hitch and go. And there's a play in my Beast Maryland I playbook that's called the hitch and go special. You can run the hitch and go. So this is the beauty of, of the Maryland Eye. It's all about setups. It's all about deceptions. It's all about uh, confusing the defense, getting into their psychology. That's why I love the Maryland Eye. If you look at it, it, it looks confusing anyway, right? It's like, man, who's this extra guy? Now, what you can also do, and this is what I love, is that if you are running the beast offense, you can run the beast, you can run power, and you can do the same thing. You can run power, you can run the wedge, and then you can go back to this, and you can do a tight end pop pass. You see how powerful that is? This is why I love formations like the, the Maryland Eye formation, the beast formation. Um, I love uh, the beast RPOs. Why? Because they're unorthodox. You know, everybody's coaching up to stop trips. Everybody's coaching to stop the spread offense. But a lot of teams are not preparing to stop a Maryland Eye formation. Or they're not prepared to stop, you know, a, um, a beast formation. This is why we do what we do. And the way we coach up our kids is we make them good blockers, elite blockers. That's my goal. My goal as a coach is I'm always trying to make sure I got the best blocking team in my league, okay? Because if we're able to block, and I got a saying, good blocking covers a multitude of sins. If you got a good blocking core, these guys don't have to be elite. Your best player don't have to break his back trying to wheel the team to win. No, these guys are blocking, creating running lanes, letting your best players do what they do. And so if you focus on the blocking, focus on coaching your kids up, understanding their assignment, everybody do their job effectively, you're going to have a field day. All right, coach, I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, do me a solid, hit that like button. Again, subscribe to the channel. Tell your coaching staff about Coach Beast and the Beast Out You channel. And um, again, if you're interested in the Maryland Eye Formation playbook. I think I created about 50 plays in the Maryland Eye Formation. Um, you can go down to my description box, go to the Beast Out You store, and you can download the Maryland Eye Formation. Or if you want, you can get all six of my Beast playbooks, my Strongman Beast playbooks, including the 4-4 Reaper defense. And also, if you want to talk to me, I know a lot of you guys want to talk to me. Y'all want to get me on the phone or get me on a video call. I am accessible. Again, just go down to my link in the bio, go scroll all the way down, and you're going to have options to where you can book a call with yours truly, Coach Beast, all right? Until next time, I want you to win more games, score more points. Beast out. Peace.